Welcome to Softball Sunday, everybody. The day when we try to glean the most bang from our musical effort, Buck. I have selected today Everlong on the ukulele. It's pretty cool. I think you're going to like it. But before we get into it, I would like to thank, with an extra helping of banana custard, lots of friendly names on this list, Jason Spade, Bob Green, and my kindergarten buddy, Keith Rourke, for signing up for the Patreon, supporter of the Cause Gentleman Club. <laughs> thank you so very much. And if you would like to know what that's all about, the link, of course, will be in the description. Keith is not in kindergarten. We went to kindergarten together. Anyways, I want to go back to the regular guitar for the regular version of the regular song right now to go through the first chord so you can understand my logic for what I chose on the ukulele. We have, of course, the ninth fret of the A string. That's an F sharp note. And then we have the 11th fret of the D string. We're tempted to think this is an F sharp power chord because it's the shape of a power chord, but it is not an F sharp power chord. If we include the low D note, which we do, then you'll have a D, it's major third F sharp, and it's major seventh C sharp. So we're not playing an F sharp power chord here, we're playing a D major seven chord. So we're looking for a D major 7 chord. Of course, D on the ukulele is 2-2-2 two, two, two on the three strings closest to your face, and that's an A shape. To make an A shape a major 7 shape, what we want is 2-1-2, two, two. and while this is a D major 7, you'll find that it does not get it done for me forever long. Despite being the requisite D major 7 chord. Remember the notes that we are looking for are D, F sharp, and C sharp. And if you put your middle finger now on the seventh fret of the G string, that's a D note. Pointer finger goes on the sixth fret of the C string, that's an F sharp note. And pinky finger, for me, you can use your ring finger if you can reach, but I cannot, is going on the ninth fret of the E string, that's a C sharp note. The only thing wrong with this shape is that the D is not low, it's high, but to me that gives it kind of a tinkly, artsy-fartsy, cool kind of feel for it, you know, ukulele version, ever long. Then we're going to B minor. The B minor in the real song is a B power chord with still a high C sharp in it, so you can get that done here. You'd do four, two, two, four. I find that C sharp to be distracting, so I'm just gonna play regular B minor, four, two, two, two you decide on your own. Then just one measure of G, one, two, three, four, and two more measures of B minor, or B minor add nine with the high C sharp in it. I'll do that one here. That's kind of growing on me. Anyways, so two measures of D major seven, hello, five, six, seven, eight, two measures of B minor, or B minor add nine with a high C sharp, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. You could do one measure of each. I think that's my favorite. One measure of G, one, two, three, four, and two measures of your B minor of choice. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I said this in the guitar video. It's a weird progression because there are seven measures. Usually there's four or eight. Anything divisible by four in this one, there's seven. Two, two, one, two. Math. I feel like I should do that whole thing for you. Also, I just totally realized for the first time that the last string on the ukulele is an A. That's a feature of a D chord as well. So now you can have seven, six, nine open, and that totally 100% completely works if you want. rising octave chord section, the pre-chorus, and I wonder, starts on two C sharps on the guitar. It's going to start on two C sharps on the ukulele. C is a fairly recognizable note on the ukulele because when we play a C chord, we have third fret of the A string. That's a C note, so C sharp must be the fourth fret of the A string. I'm going to use my pinky. And then the other C sharp is going to be the first fret of the C string. You're gonna mute that string and that string, so when you strum away, all you hear are those two strings. So start there, move it up one fret, two frets, two frets, and then up one fret like that. And keep in mind that this is blueberries, this is triplets, so you're gonna start on a down strum, blueberry, and then your next chord's gonna start on an up strum, blueberry, down strum, 
up strum, and then just down up as you move up one more fret. And then we are going to land on an A chord. And I wonder. all the further that you get because the chorus cuts into it there. All right, coming out of your last octave into the chorus, it's gonna be B minor, G, D. You can sus four if you want. B minor, G, D. That's the third fret of the E string. Third time's different. B minor, That's it, those are all the pieces for Everlong on the ukulele. I would suggest after the last chorus at the end when you hang on the G for longer, you kind of start to make it slower in dramatic fashion, but really so that you have time to switch back to <laughs> the awkward D major seven shape. Thank you so much for being here for that one. I had a really good time figuring that one out. I hope you thought that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. Oh, I just had the coolest idea right after I hung up the phone, of course, so to speak. You know that electric guitar part in the electric version of the song that goes... We can hearken that. It's not gonna be the same note, but it's gonna be kinda on the ukulele, I'd say a little bit cooler. Let's go from our... D major 7 chord and that high C sharp note, let's make it go up one half step. And then for the B minor, we're of course going to have, if you want, that high C sharp, which can go up one half step. And then on the G chord, let's play, this would be a modal chord, so open 2, 3, 4, and that C sharp is going to go up one half step. Back to the could do that in the in-between singing parts if you wanted to really impress your friends at parties. Can't quite get that G one. There it is, yep. Anyways, that's it for the addendum. Thank you so much, goodbye.